Hello folks, I'm just on my way to Edinburgh testing out the brand new hotfix that has been released but bear in mind this is a beta so only opt in if you are going to test bugs don't think of this as a quick uh, sort of early access way of getting your sim fixed that's not the case there's plenty of things that could still go wrong at this stage okay but if you are interested in uh, sort of uh, opting into the beta and being part of the team to get this sim up and running the way it should do I'll have links and instructions in the notes below of how to do that now just to show you that the toolbar is now working really well which is just wonderful to see that's a uh, at the moment I'm using my control obviously but you know you can use your mouse as well uh, let's have a look at this and you know basically all of the stuff works as it did before but I must admit I have noticed that just generally speaking um, this the mouse sorry, not the mouse the controller I'm so used to saying the mouse the actual VR controller is working much better than it was before it feels a lot more smoother if that makes sense hopefully I can just show you this now by just pressing buttons and messing around basically that's all I'm doing at the moment really but yeah it feels really nice and I'm a massive advocate of using a VR controller in a cockpit because you reach out to touch things that you would in the real thing so so far so good but I have to say this is a beta so only opt in and download it if you want to help support the sort of development of this particular hotfix and that's basically it for today I'm going to carry on over to Edinburgh and I'll see you all again soon and please let me know in the comments actually how are you finding this hotfix if you decided to uh, go for it so far for me I'm very impressed take care guys and I'll see you all again very soon